The windstorm that destroyed so many roofs across the area also did some damage in the Red River Gorge. One of the most photogenic bridges in the region was knocked down into the water. Sean Moody talked with hikers about what made that bridge so special. Several hundred people complete the Sheltoe Trace through hike every year. It's several hundred miles through Kentucky and into Tennessee, and one of the iconic spots on that trail is the Sheltoe Trace Suspension Bridge. After that windstorm on Friday, you can see it is in shambles. It's Kentucky's real true through hike opportunity. The landscapes it touches are absolutely stunning. The Red River Gorge is home to countless beautiful spots. What's your favorite trail in the gorge? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, you know, I kind of enjoy hiking out to Whittleton Arch. Uh, it's one of my favorite arches. Just Drew Stevens is a volunteer with the Wolf County Search and Rescue Team. He's also hiked most sections of the Sheltoe Trace Trail. Um, it's an Algonquin word. Uh, yeah. means big turtle. One of the most enduring images of the trail is the suspension bridge that crosses the Red River. It's absolutely an iconic symbol of the Sheltoe Trace, also an iconic symbol of the Red River Gorge, really. That's why this it's so hard for him to see. You know, it's it's upsetting. You know, it's I've you know, like I said, I've been out here for years and I love this landscape. Saturday, the day after the windstorm, a tree fell onto the bridge, sending the planks crashing down into the river below. It actually stranded some hikers who had already crossed to the other side. Wolf County Search and Rescue helped them find another way back. Stevens says the loss of that bridge is concerning. I think about the logistics now of maybe a further hike if someone were to be injured on that side of the river. And I also think about the hazard right now of people not heeding the advice of the Forest Service and staying off the bridge. A spokesperson for the U.S. Forest Service said rebuilding the bridge is a high priority. This actually isn't the first time they've had to do it. A flood destroyed it back in 2017. It's tragic uh, to see the bridge in this shape. Also, you know, I feel for my friends with the Forest Service and you're going to have to put in this extra work once again to replace this bridge. But that effort is worth it to those who love the Red River Gorge. And there's no estimated completion date as to when any repairs to the bridge will be made, but historically, when incidents like this have happened in the past, it's taken months for those repairs to happen. In the Red River Gorge, Sean Moody, LAX 18 News.